tipped it to the other side. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. The Celtics making a switch here. Browns checked in. That's good from Outlaw. The Cavaliers trail by five. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. The Cavaliers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. No good on the second free throw. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Inside, it's tipped. Outside, Green. Rubio outside, drains the three-pointer. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor, and they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Down low, here's Outlaw, and the layup's good off the glass. Outlaws has got 10 points in the quarter. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Rubio outside. Six on the shot clock. And, and you have to admire his confidence on that, but uh, there's no way that's going to fall. Coaches will tell you that's a bad shot, but when your teammates tell you that, you probably got to think about it. And there's no excuse for allowing Brown to get that deep. He's just brilliant at jamming it down the defense's throat. Timeout called Cleveland. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. And in that one, the backups came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench. A big factor in that win. Mitchell, he's checked in for Green. And so that's the end of the first half. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Danny Green, he's checked in for Cleveland. Pass to Mobley. Here's Mitchell, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. <laughs> Did he lay an egg at the stripe in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. We've got Green. He's out there with Donovan Mitchell, and it's Allen in at the center. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Brown kicks to Outlaw. Just four to shoot. Brown against Green. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that uh, that's unfortunate. Here's Mitchell. Makes it off the glass. Now just a three-point Boston lead. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Outlaw kicks to Brown. Pass to Tatum. Al Horford. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Brown. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Jared Allen. And Brown really forcing the issue there on the drive, making the opposition get physical with it. Williams is checked in for the Celtics. Smart comes in for Tatum, and he makes both free throws. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Green, the pass to Levert. Taken away by Williams. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes of dawn. Stolen by Allen. Here's Osman. 
Allen outside. Green kicks to Allen. It's Levert on the wing. Just five on the clock. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first five. And the Celtics making a change here. Here's Levert. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. On the floor for Boston. Williams is out there with Gallinari. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Outlaw in at the shooting guard position. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Five on the clock. It's good. Tatum's got 26. Shifty, elusive offensively. Tatum's scoring potential is through the roof. Wade outside. And the pass to Mobley. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. That's just a tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Allen's checked in. Celtics leading by 13. Brogdon finds Williams. To the middle. Here's Outlaw. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists in the game. Cavaliers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's Levert. Mitchell trying to free himself. Great D that time from Outlaw. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Well, Cleveland shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Here's Levert. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Now just because he might not be as big as some of the other guys that are on the floor, it doesn't dissuade him from getting in there and playing fearlessly on the glass. Levert the pass to Mitchell. Down low. And Allen slams it in. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Brogdon kicks to Outlaw. Levert grabs the miss. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Boston leading by 13. For three, Outlaw. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Levert kicks to Allen. Dishes it to Mitchell. Lock at six. Locked up there for Allen. Up high to stop the alley. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley. -oop. Outside Tatum. Passes to Williams. To the paint. Here's Outlaw. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. You know, I think Williams has a, a terrific future. A, a charismatic, likable kid who can be unselfish to a fault. Ricky Rubio checked in for Karis LeBert. Boston also with the sub. Browns checked in. Pass to Mobley. Allen surveying the D. The dish to Rubio. And yes, it's good. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Celtics leading by 15. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Celtics. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth. And they showed it in this game. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2-0 in the season series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Jalen Brown. Every inch of the floor 
was his tonight as he came out and injected an energy into every play. That's good for my ball. A platoon swap here for Cleveland. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. There's 48 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Covered by Outlaw. Here's Neto. Fades back. Rebounded by the Celtics. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Pass to Cornett. He kicks to Mascala. Four on the clock. Over Lopez. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Here's Stephens, and so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and...